guys, what's up? My name's Tyler. Today we're going to talk about MAP or mean arterial pressure. And it's a pretty easy concept to understand after you get it explained to you. It took me a little bit and then uh, I had a real cool doctor who explained it to me real well. But to break it down real simply, MAP is an important number. It tells us how well the kidneys are perfusing with blood and also other organs, but we primarily focus on the kidneys because when the MAP begins to drop, they're usually the first ones that are affected. So we're gonna go through the equation. Uh, I'll show you how I do it. There's tons of different ways to do it, so uh, I apologize if someone had a better way to do it, but this way that I'm gonna show you is gonna be really easy. We'll break it down. Before the end of this video, you should be able to do it too. All right, hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so this is my favorite MAP formula. It's super simple to use. It may look a little complicated, so we'll break it down. All you do is take your systolic number and then you take your diastolic number on your blood pressure. You times it by two. You add these numbers together, divide it by three. That's your map. Super simple. So let's put this into a different writing form. If I take this paper right here, let's say your blood pressure was we're looking up here, 110 over 80. So you're gonna take that systolic number, bring it down, that's 110, and then your 80, you're gonna bring it down twice because we times it by two. So 110 plus 80 plus 80, and that's gonna equal 270. So this number, you're always gonna divide by three. 270 divided by three equals 90. That's your map. Try a different one. Here's a blood pressure that looks really low. Let's say the doctor wanted your MAP to be 65 because sometimes in the ICU we titrate uh, drips trying to achieve a certain MAP uh, figure. So 85 over 55. Let's see what happens. So we take the 85, drop it down, and then you have the 55, so you're going to pull it down twice. 85 plus 55 plus 55. You guessed it, 195. Divide that by 3, 65. So that's your map. So if you're titrating, that would probably be one of the lowest pressures you can get to and still be okay. So that's it. That's calculating map. It's really important to understand it because you need to be aware of the danger that the kidneys can be in. Uh, if they're not getting enough blood perfusing to them, then they'll start going to uh, kidney failure. Um, also, you know, once one organ starts to fail, other organs can also follow. Uh, so memorize this, write it down, try a couple sample problems of your own, take your own blood pressure and do it. Um, and I think you'll find it really helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video on the map. I hope that the shadow that was being cast over my paper wasn't too distracting, but we're going to have a whole lot more videos that are going to be very helpful. I think that uh, a lot of nurses will benefit from them. If you felt like you benefited uh, just from this video uh, or you feel like there might be other topics that would benefit you most, let us know um, and we'll make those videos. So subscribe and share if you liked what we had today and I really appreciate that you tuned in. Thanks.